Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am organizing, I am cleaning and I am decorating my laundry. So it's probably 80% there already, but I am just doing the final pieces. So I really wanted to share this video with you today. If you love decorating videos and organizing videos, please subscribe to my channel. I have heaps of this sort of content on this channel and coming up in the future. So be sure to subscribe to see that. And if you do enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. This really helps my small channel grow. So first of all, I am going to start off by siliconing this laundry. So it's actually not even complete yet. I've still got to do the silicon around the tiles, which will hopefully give it that complete look. The next thing I'm going to do is just to do a final clean. So I'm going to go around and clean the benches and the sink. The sink is full of everything from the renovation, including paint. So hopefully I can get that one off and then go around and clean the cupboards and the appliances. So I'm just going to be cleaning with my own multi-purpose cleaner that I made. And this multi-purpose cleaner is made from orange peels and vinegar. So you actually just leave some orange peels in the vinegar for about three weeks to let it brew. And then you just pop it in a spray bottle. So now I'm up to organizing the essential oil. So I know it does look really neat in here, but I do know that I will definitely need a bigger spot because I'm always buying more and honestly it's a way of my future. I'm very much into health and stuff like that. So I need to account for that and I need to make sure that I've actually got a system that works for me. So as you can see in here, you cannot really see what I've got. So, so I've just bought this three tiered bamboo shelving from Kmart. When you call me, it's a kind of go. I hear it running through my blood. If you feel it, then I don't stand. And that is the end result there. So you can actually read what all the labels are, which is fantastic. And there's so much room on there for growth as well. So that is going to solve that problem in there. So now it's time to sort all this stuff that's sitting in here. <laughs> It's just a box full of wonders, to be honest. Half of this stuff I don't even think I use. So we'll go through it and declutter and see what I can keep and what I'm going to use. And then we are going to put it in one of these baskets because I've got another one of those. And then that means that everything is like nice and uniform. Then these will be all matching. But obviously I'm gonna have some excess of stuff and I need to work out where I'm storing things. So I actually bought these here from Bunnings. This was obviously the small one, it says, and it was $4.50, I believe. These are amazing. They are so durable and they have so many uses. We actually use these at daycare for our kids' drink bottles and our sunscreens and gloves and stuff like that so you can definitely use these outside and inside so it'd be great to store all those little garden bits outside i also want to get rid of these as well i'm not happy with these i actually liked the glass ones and then i found out that the essential oils won't last in them so i bought the blue ones but i just don't like them I just think they're a bit ugly. <laughs> so I want to hide those. So I think I'll just make this a specialty cleaners because I just went through and had a look and all this stuff sort of like for Pacific areas. Wake up in the morning, roll it over, look it over at you. So if you watched my home organization hacks video, I'm actually using the same method as what I have done in that video. So that'll explain the tape and everything that I've got down. Also, 
I'm sewing now, both sides are done. You've got your Omo on that side and it's nice and easy for me to access when I am doing the washing. And then I have my spray bottles on there, which I'm still yet to make up some of my homemade cleaning products. I am just trying to use up some of the stuff that I've actually got to be nice. So. Beautiful, and she's done. And now for the final decorating, I am using this picture of my daughter. I think it is just so gorgeous with the really dirty face. Being the laundry room, I really had to have a muddy, dirty picture in here somewhere. So that is just gonna give that personal touch. So I have just decided to keep my spray bottles up there. So they are from eBay and the writing on them is from Pretty Little Designs. I absolutely love them. They do such a great job with their labeling. Then I have printed off a cute, dirty little picture of my daughter. I had to have one being the laundry room and I have used some old man's whiskers as well. So that is that area. If you're wondering where the shelving is from, it was from Spotlight. I don't know if they'll have it anymore. It was quite a while ago when I purchased that. And now for decorating that bench top. So I'm actually going to organize with decor, believe it or not. I am one of those practical people. I'm a minimalist and I am a practical person. I, and I do tend to decorate with decor pieces that actually have function. But today I am actually going to go against my own grain and I'm going to just organize with something that's pretty. So the items that I am decorating with are this beautiful crystal here. This is from Acorn Oak and yes, they do have an online store if you are interested. This one particular one costed me $15. So it does range with the different sizes that you buy. The next item is this beautiful plant head that I got and this was from When and Where and they also have an online store and this was $99 and also this fake eucalyptus. This is probably the realest fake eucalyptus I've ever seen. And this was just from a local stationery shop. So I don't think they're actually a franchise or anything like that. And the last piece is this beautiful tray from Spotlight and this was only $15. I have just used the actual tray not to sit this on but just as a way to break up the planter head from the tiles. I did try and have a look at what it would look like without it and then that's when I went out and purchased this because I felt like the colours were too similar and they were sort of blending. So I really wanted this planter head to stand out. I think I'm going to be here for a while fixing and trying to make the plants in the head perfect but this is what it looks like at the moment and I'm pretty happy with it. So I thought I'd show you just quickly how I've organized the entire cupboard. So up the top there I have spare mop heads for my steam mop I believe it is. The next one here is the couch cleaners. This one here says additional clean supplies, but I need to update the sign. It is actually just some magic erasers and then I've just got some cleaning cloths, all different kinds of cleaning cloths in there. Up here, I've just got a mop head for the mop that I use for the bedrooms. And then I have a funnel and that is what I use for my essential oils or if I buy like shampoo and stuff like that from a supermarket that needs to go into my special bottles, but I have sort of been going to the zero waste place and filling stuff up there. So I've been pretty good with that. And now for the center cupboard, I have the essential oils, which I just shown, the vacuum attachments for my Dyson vacuum. And then I have the pest control. And up the top here is my iron. I'm probably going to retire this because it doesn't get used. And then this one here is just all my specialty cleaners. So, you know, like your Brasso and stuff like that and mold cleaners. I did show that one before. We just went through that. And this last one is 
for my drill so these are actually brushes cleaning brushes that you can use to clean with and you just attach them to your drill so they go super fast it's really cool and um, obviously that needs to be clean but these need to be all re-signed so this side here is far from glamorous i've actually just put this up here for the moment but normally i have all the mops and stuff like hanging right across so it doesn't look so bad but i have been doing the washing so this is usually in my bedroom and i have one for mine and one for tali so whenever i take a coat hanger out i put it on that and then when i do the washing and hang the washing out I've got somewhere for it to go. But basically this is where I keep my dustpan, my steam mop and my duster. I couldn't actually attach them. So I've actually just used cable tie just to attach them there. So as I said, it normally does run right across and it doesn't look as bad because of this, but I'm not keeping it. So the idea is I need to get someone to get rid of these taps for me and then i'll get this powerpoint moved and then i'm planning on putting in like a nice big picture here and then some shelves with some plants and the plant's going to be sort of plants that absorb smell because i do normally have the cat litter just down here the next thing that i have is this hook up here and that just attaches to this clothesline right here so when tali was young i was finding that a lot of my washing was getting gross and moldy and stuff like that so what i would do is i would just wash it out and then hang it up on here and then it wasn't getting all gross and moldy so it was just able to dry out the next area is under here i did show this before in one of my organization hacks videos when i redid this area but i basically just got bleach domestos floor cleaner nappy sand and in here is bicarb soda i like to have a separate one from my kitchen just because sometimes it gets crossed with like cleaning chemicals and i don't want that happening so this is cat food and then i've got cat litter and i just sit that in front of this drawer because i don't really use this drawer all the time this has just got worming tablets and the scoop so i just can sort of move that out the way but that's the best i can do with this area and i've also just changed to soap berries since doing this area and it's really working for me so if you're looking at more of a sustainable thing then definitely check out soap berries over here is actually my clothes basket and then i have a collapsible bucket obviously this area is not big so this is a perfect space for me to be able to grab this out when i need it i actually do have laundry baskets under each bed and i try and do a load each day or each couple of days so it doesn't get bad but i do use this just to hang out all the wet laundry afterwards so yeah this is what i do this is a soaked bucket for talia's stuff and it definitely needs a clean and over here is just my little freezer as well. So I don't have a dryer. I don't believe in a dryer. If you see how I do laundry fast video, you will have already known that I don't use dryer and what I sort of do to combat that issue in the winter without having clothes everywhere all around the house. So this is what it looks like when you walk into my laundry and I'm pretty happy with it. I have tried to really get rid of all the ugliness and leave it over here so you can't see it and it will eventually go behind the door when i get rid of the taps and all that sort of thing so it won't stay that ugly now if you love the tiles or if you're curious about doing your own tiling because this is all my own tiling i have got a video all untiling and how to design your own laundry because this is actually a caboodle kitchen and this is also a diy as well which was just one of those 99 dollars bench tops from bunnings and i did a whitewash on this so they are in one is a tiling video i believe and i think the other one was how to design a laundry and which i do the whitewash in as well so definitely check those videos out if you are curious or if you want to know how i did them what paints all that sort of stuff because it's all in those videos i can be honest my brain's a sieve i never remember <laughs> if you ask me i won't remember i'd have to go through the video myself so i will leave those linked in the description box below Thank you for watching the video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Thank you for watching and I will catch you next week with another video. Bye.